Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to game number two of Shad Strand versus Jonathan Palermo. This is Swiss round two of Worlds 2017. And once again we have uh, Star Wars LCG legend Mick Sipra joining for the commentary. Mick. Hey Andy, look, how's it going? Look at that dark side flop. Creatures, D-lots. Oh, that's what you want to see. <laughs> Those are the Jedi, D-lots and... Uh, fearsome and foul. Go get a Tukata. Yeah, tactics. Yeah. Sure. You, do you focus it after the errata? Nope. No? That one didn't get an errata. Boo. The, uh, um, the dragon snake. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The deaths. Uh, this one's just been revealed. You go grab a creature. Ugh. Nobby White Spider. I mean, um,. I mean, I think that Shad, like, he, he wants to see a power of the dark side, too. Yeah, yeah. Just but, the Grissom and Fowl, not bad. Jonathan on the light side, running Smugglers, and uh, slipped into Asteroid Sanctuary, May the Force, and running the Canyon, one of the newer sets that was uh, on show at Worlds, with um, Luke Skyhopper and Memories of Home, that recursion of shields and... Yeah, there were a few people at Worlds uh, trying the Running the Canyon deck, but I don't think the, the players have really discovered uh, how powerful an objective set it can be yeah. at this point in time. I know, yeah, Josh Johnson was running it, amongst others. So, so yeah, uh, Shad took the first game with his Rebel Capital ship, so let's see if Jonathan can mount a, an offense in game two and, and even it up. Valley of the Dark Lords Tukata, not bad. <laughs> and an ice prompter. <laughs> Creature feature. So yeah, it's a pretty good turn for uh, for Shad there. Set up quite nicely. With, uh... Yeah, it gives him some nice options of pushing out an attacker and then focusing it with Tukata. If he has an Echoes, he can commit it to the Force. Yep. And it depends on uh, how many units Jonathan gets out on the board, too. Well, Jonathan... Just one, you know, that's going to be... He's just put a Wolfman in the discard, so that's... You know, he can potentially start winning the Force with May the Force Be With You and flooding the board a little bit. Nudge hits the table. Edge hits the table. Along with the Cloud City guest quarters. So this will be kind of interesting. And if he uh, maxes out at four, keeps himself on three resources this turn, what all he pays. So not playing any smuggler card. There's Luke. Luke. Oh. Corset Luke still doing work three or four years later. Yep. So this is where Shad really needs a force choke, and then just oh uh, dang, bullseyes in the engagement, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so we gotta, we gotta uh, we're, we're gonna have to go to conflict. Yeah. Force focus token on the nudge. Jonathan will have to declare and then play his bullseye. Yeah, but he still gets the bullseye before the ice trumper can do anything about it. He will. Yeah. Luke's gonna get some work in. Do you bullseye the ice trumper here? I, th I don't know if I'd rather bullseye the the, the Takada. Um, yeah, you probably want to bullseye the Tukata because of the focus tokens. Because mm -hmm. then if you do Ice Trump or Luke, I'm kind of fine with that. I'll just go in again. Like, I think here, if Shad wins the edge battle, do you focus Luke or do you focus the Nudge? Oh, you focus, you focus Luke because he's going to use May the Force on the Nudge anyway. Yeah. Oof. Oh, there well, we you do go. Both. Yeah. Commit it, Luke, committing Luke's always a good call. Yep. Can't May the Force on that one, because it's not the light side player committing him. And then where's the focus? Go? Focus is going definitely on Luke. Yep. So Jonathan's going to have a nudge, and he won't win by three to get the Wolfman back. Important to note.
Uh, oh, oh, Luke did this objective damage. So I guess when the... Oh, no, no, it wasn't. For some reason, I was thinking the Tukata died, so Shad should be triggering Hunters of the Jedi to bring it to current attack, but no Force Sensitive has left play yet. <laughs> So commit the nudge does win the force down to two for Shad. But this is one. Oh, it will be one actually because of the nudge. Yeah, good, good catch. Yeah, right. And now this is a great opening now for Shad to just take command of his board position. Yeah, he really wants to put another focus token on Luke somehow. Yeah. So I would not be overly surprised if he like attacks with a Tukata and bids a Steve and then I don't know. You yeah. gotta play some other stuff first though. Yeah, get the Rogar champion, maybe a Lanik Lackey for defense. Yeah. Actually if Shad could take the force by a lot, maybe he just dark manipulates Luke into a Torrent attack. <laughs> oh god. That's a big swing. That would work. Yep. Playing Bane here would be good too. You've got to mention as well, I think we mentioned in the first game, but both playmats for these players, they're gorgeous. Hey, speak of the devil. Bane. Bane. <laughs> Bye, Luke. Uh. Shad's got to do something for the four. Well, probably not the end of the world if he just lets Jonathan have the force for a turn. Getting Luke off the board is pretty big. Yeah. And he might be able to get a unit out of it as well, actually, that could then take the force. True. A lot of damage assigned to Luke. Stubby. Okay, Luke's gone. And Hunter of the Jedi. Any triggers? Shad. Trigger, trigger. Trigger. And this is it. No. Nil point. No. No metamorphosis this turn. <laughs> Put some damage on May the Force. Starting to work on that. I woke one morning from Ruigan Dreams to discover he had been turned into a gigantic bug. <laughs> He's a beautiful butterfly. Father threw an apple which lodged himself in his carriage piss. So balance damage, putting another one on Dark Lord. Jonathan yep, drew. Yeah, you gotta get out from underneath that. The nudge will not uh, Chad hit his necessary destruction. Or, that nudge will not be on the table forever, particularly not with Bane around. No. But Jonathan's got an opening here. That only has the Tukata to, to defend. Ooh. Hired hands could create an opening. <laughs> yep. One money, one of the... Oh, God, that's two. on both of them. Okay, don't lose the force. Well, I'm actually always kind of worried to play both of my hired hands. Yeah. If you like, lose that struggle, you'd lose your board. Like, if you have both of them in your hand the same turn, and unless you can really capitalize on an opening, I'd almost rather play one this turn and then play another one next turn. Unless you absolutely have nothing else that you can play, and Jonathan hasn't followed it up with anything, so... That probably makes sense. So it goes to conflict, focuses one, hide hands with Dark Lord, and then goes straight to force. Uh, why aren't you committing? Oh, commit the hired hands, okay. Oh, Wolfman. Oh. Okay. Let's get the Wolfman out. So Shad needs to basically put four on the force, and he'll kill both of those hired hands. Which he can do with what's on the board already. So, I'm not thrilled with playing two hired hands to get back a Wolfman. Shad's looking. 
looking over his options. Yeah, just make sure that they will die. They're not like the scum, they who only take a damage. Hide hands. Oh, what's, the, what's the dial moving to here now? Two? It's on two. Uh, what's in Shad's discard? Is that a Steve? No, it's a force manipulation? I don't know. Some kind of fifth card. Shad thinking over his options here, so he's... He always does. Want to get the biggest bang for your buck. It, it, it gets complicated when you have Bane that can hit, you know, whatever he needs to hit. Does mm. he just take the first and kill the hired hands? He might have, like, a Steve or something in his hand. It's risky attacking into the hired hands, though. Yeah. Like, you definitely have a lot. Oh, just pays just for Steve. Okay. It makes sense. If Shad's not going to be attacking this turn... Yeah, just to commit. And... Um, doesn't have anything else big to play. Makes sense to, to just play hard cast in that way. But Shad really needs to have Force Sensitives being killed and turned into turn into Tex. I want to see this board go wide. <laughs> yeah, you don't attack here. You just if that's Shad's deployment over, you just commit and wipe the board. Oh, I think I just saw a telekinetic strike in his hand. So telekinetic strike with Steve and Bane on the table is pretty darn good because they can. Uh... Wait, he's doing it now. Telekinetic strike on the nudge. Put one focus token there. Oh, he doesn't want to commit Bane, so this will allow him to commit Steve. So he... Oh, he is committing both. Why? Why do you telekinetic strike? No. Okay. And we're doing uh, that. So he just want, Shad wanted to win by three to strike the nudge off. Oh, makes sense. Dark Lord will be doing some work. Dial back up to three. Okay, that that all makes sense now. Shad does not have a great edge hand, but does have two great blockers. I don't know. I kind of want to keep telekinetic strike for. Mm. But the thing is, you're not going to bid Telekinetic Strike or Dark Manipulation, so you might not be getting the edge that you need. Mm. But I feel like Telekinetic Strike could be good on a Yoda. Like, Steve can focus Yoda and Bang can just plug him. Yeah, it's great for picking off those those key units, the, the mains. But this, this series of attacks, like, you definitely want to do something to get those hired hands off the board. This also gets the nudge, so it, it puts D-Lots back in action. Of course, D-Lots doesn't do much against a Flacken. Bane can block the Falcon, though. He I don't can. Think he's there's, turn. there's running the canyon... It's fighter or speeder, isn't it? So it doesn't work on the not Falcon. A, not a, a YT-1300 transport. Damn it. I don't know. Do you block with Steve in this situation? Just to have him die and then come back next turn without the force commit on him? I think so. Although that wouldn't really change anything, right? Like, Jonathan wouldn't care. <laughs> what are you going to do, Shad? Shad's double blocking. Of course it seems so risky. Because how many towers does Jonathan have? Uh, Shad has a twist and two Palpatines. Yeah, Shad... <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan has all five, has a hand of five. Oh, oh there's a Palpatine. Twist. Into, into Jonathan's twist. Good work, Jonathan. Double twist. Be that guy, Jonathan. Be that guy. <laughs> oh, seeds is good. Yeah, but Shad can uncommit. Yeah, this is the power of the deck. 
Okay, and Falcon is going to... Right, because Shad's out edge uh, plus two to Jonathan's one. Yeah. So Falcon is going to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> Got to. Wait, do we not have a focus token on the World Guard? Yes, Seeds is a... Yeah, okay. there we go. You don't focus my unit, I do. Yeah, you got what's happening. You gotta bounce. Yeah, you you gotta bounce. Cloud City Operative is gonna come in, move the focus token over to the Tukata, I guess. And this actually is not a bad series of events because this will allow Jonathan to overtap Fame. Yeah. And the uh, Wolfman. Oh, so that was at Dark Lord, so that's safe for another turn now. Yep, keeping that pressure up. Don't know. No, Dark Lord for the operative actually so we'll take another runner post oh he wasn't attacking it with falcon no apparently not draws a card with asteroid good player remembering his triggers always good to see uh, yeah shad's getting all focused down here doesn't attack, beats. doesn't attack with the wolfman just wants to have defenders ready Yeah, and true, that will allow him to get three for the second Wolfman. Oh, yeah, get the other Wolfman Good out there. Good call, Jonathan. And Chad is in dire need of units. Units that can deal with the Falcon, no less. Because we know Jonathan has it in hand and the money to pay for it next turn. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. uh, and that comes out for free. Still can't play Palpatine. Lanik, not bad. So underrated. I like him. Times two. <laughs> dudes. <laughs> Lots of dudes. And that's probably it. So Shad's gonna commit a Lanik and pass it back. Maybe he commits both oh, Lanix. <laughs> I like this. They, they called Eric over for a judge ruling on what species a Lanik Lackey is. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Uh, it's obviously a rabbit man. <laughs> I think Eric said they're Lanix. They're Lanix. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Probably in one of those uh, Alien Species Galaxy Guide number six or so. I have kicking around somewhere. I should probably grab it. Oh, the old Western Games one? Really? Uh, no, the, I used to have that. I've got the uh, Wizards of the Coast version. Oh. No, I love the West End Games. D Exploding D6. I had I'm going to be playing that on Sunday. Yeah. Are you? Yep, got a dojo group. We're going to continue our campaign in the old, old Republic. Nice. I had a, a Juros engineer shoot an X-Wing with my pistol, and actually, due to the exploding, exploding six, sickles. just took it out. That, that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> Realism. Yeah, I love how when you roll a one and two, you just, like, suck at life. <laughs> yeah, one in six, you're amazing. I have to be in this ability, and I can't do anything. No. Even if you're the world's best at that skill check, Usain Bolt can just yep. stumble one in six get one in six runs. Steve's edge one versus the Falcon squad's edge three. Steve edge three. And a hand of five cards as well. This is Shad's three, I think. It's a lot of stuff bouncing in and out. Death and destruction. Go, go, Falcon. 
I also I I feel often in these situations that like dark side just has to let some of the light side attacks hit. Yeah. So you're like you're basically playing a game of I'm going to spam units and eventually I'll have enough that I can block your attacks and I'll have the edge hand that I need and hopefully not give up too much ground in the process. I guess difficult against edge three though. Well, you just don't block the edge three this turn. No, that's four bombs like, every turn. <laughs> well, you can't keep it up forever. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, otherwise you block and you lose edge and your units start dying, and then it's even harder to deal with, with that pain thing. squad. Yeah, true. Of course, it all depends on like if he has edge tricks and what Jonathan attacks with, etc. So both Wolfman yep. dealing with the Falcon continues to be an issue still in 2017. Good cards. Very good cards. I think the Wolfmen are both going for Dark Lord. I think. Yeah. So you can definitely block this one because your Lanix can prevent it from blowing up, and then you can. Uh... Oof. He and seeds versus an echoes. Uh, yeah, bidding the. Ooh, eat a battle. That's good. That's also good. <laughs> Things going Jonathan's way. Yeah, drawing a fast droid again. So Falcon is not going to be getting uh, locked out. It's one of the things too is like if you can't see the player's hand, you don't know what sort of routes of thinking they're going through. So keeping D lots alive that way. Yeah, I like this. That unit's gonna die, but uh, both of Jonathan's wolf men will not be available next turn. Yeah, slowing that pain train down a little bit, as you mentioned. Unless Jonathan finds a bamboozle. <laughs> ah! Or the uh, second copy of the Bamboozle off and onto Bane <laughs> after Bane's been declared as a defender. So the Falcon now can go at Dark Lord, so that was at the top objective. Uh, Wait, what, what, what objective did the Wolfman attack? At uh, the top. Oh, okay. Uh, gonna blow up Dark Lord. Yeah, Fearsome Fell does nothing. You don't care if that stays on the board. Bouncing the Falcon. Four. Up. Twi'lek. See, don't you wish you had your Force Choke Shad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bane. Bye bye. Yeah, this is where Bane just gets locked out for the whole game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you attack. Also, draw your another card. reason why doing that 5-5 five, five scum splashing Sith will be quite good with uh, Hunter for Hire. Like, you'll get your lac your, your Lannic lackeys back up faster, and mm. it'll prevent this kind of annoying, like, Bane getting locked out for the whole game. That's why I lost to uh, Daniel from Spain. Oh, uh, was it? Well... It's one of the reasons. Uh, <laughs> there were other reasons. There, there were like two freeholders. One of them was trusting its feelings. Yeah, and... that's a that's a pretty big reason. Usually. But the issue was like he played a freeholder. Uh, I had Dark Lord out, and then he put trust your feelings on it. Oof. Attacks and twisted away. I, I, bl I blocked with Bane. Figured I'd get three damage on it. Um, but he twisted away my echoes. So my uh, being focused and then he's basically out for the whole game. Brutal. Killing Cole. Yeah, oh, they shot it. The attack that no one attacks. The objective. No, people attack it and then they then they kick themselves for <laughs> attack. Oh Vader. Yeah. Tom Tom Art Vader. Hmm. 
I feel like Tyler was running at least a single copy of Killing Cold in his Sith deck, Scum Sith deck, and one of his opponents actually engaged Killing Cold mistakenly, and he just started sacking units and wound up winning that game because of it. That's what you do. That's what Killing Cold. Vader is definitely what you want to see here. So I'm pretty sure Vader... Oh, I see he committed that guy. I was going to say, I think Vader's your Falcon blocker, but you need to keep enough stuff locked down. Okay, so... Vader at May the Force. Yeah. I think Vader wants to kill the Twi'lek, probably. Like, I think all the other stuff, you actually want to keep them on the board to slow the tempo of made the Force. Yeah, it's done its work now, so leave it leave it be. And let the Wolfman double strike, yeah. Although Shad's also moving to get made the Force just off the board. So, who knows, maybe he does want to kill some of those units. I think Shad actually wants... Well, he doesn't really care if that Wolfman strikes or not. He actually wants that Wolfman to strike and get double focused, I think. Then he can go in with the Tukata. And... Oh, he's got a Visage. Visage. Visage on the Wolfman, Will. Man, I almost think that you, like, block the Falcon with Vader and then Visage it. <laughs> but you need enough stuff focus out otherwise on the board. Like, you need to get Vader up to his three guns. Oh, I think Shad's just yeah. mentioning it it's now. Like, yeah, you think he bits. I went to do this thing, and then I did this thing that prevents me from doing the thing I wanted to do. Yeah. I, uh, I know the feeling well, Shad. <laughs> Let's just say I know the feeling well. <laughs> Alright, where are the... Yeah, Twi'leks out of here. But that Wolfman, he's going to be available still. So I would expect the Tukata to probably get in somewhere to over tap some. Well, no, actually, it doesn't matter at this point because Vader can't defend the Falcon. So probably just take the Force back, I would think. Dow's on four. It's quite a slow game. Jonathan is able to just keep playing the Falcon each turn, so if he can just keep pinging a couple of damage through. Yeah. There's a damage here, damage there. Don't put any damage on that killing hold, though. No. <laughs> Leave that alone. Oh, desolation. So good. Weighing all the options. Click and turn after turn after turn. Oh, another money. Well, do that for stuff, obviously. Oh, oh, no. I really think that just playing the Falcon every single turn is the best course of action. <laughs> like, your other plays have to be really good to. Hello. Well, there's one. Luke's Skyhopper. And over taps. The Cloud City guest quarters. Three money. Smell a Yoda. Probably. Oh. Oh, go find him. He's finding him. One money left over. Down flex to five. Oh, trigger. Yeah, trigger Skyhopper. Get the damage. Okay. Yep. Don't forget. I mean, to you have to him. deal. You, you expect Yoda's coming at some point. You got to deal with him. He's coming. <laughs> what is that one resource for? If he wants to attack, then he's not getting hit by May the Force to make himself a defender. I don't know. Shad's got quite a few units who can deal with the Yoda. Yeah. No, neither of them available to block this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Uh, like if he wins Edge, he can focus Yoda, shoot him, and then shoot him again with Steve. Trying to something else, Atlantic. Trying to consider what the one uh, affiliation resource is open for for Jonathan. Bow rifle. I don't know. Uh, what one cost events are there? I don't. I I'm hard pressed to think of what it might be. If he's running Han, it could be Swindle, but Bamboozle costs two. Yeah, I feel like Han's probably not in this deck though. No. I don't I don't think people were trying uh, running the Canyon Han Core Han in the world's meta. This is pretty good. So, tactics at the bottom. Yoda and the operative. There's more stuff coming. It's all of them. All the king's men. <laughs> now, if there's not enough guns there Why to kill Yoda. Steve going in? you got to threaten to kill Yoda. Um, what is going on? Yeah, uh, Yoda's gonna live through this. No. Well, Shad loses Edge. He's. Yeah, you gotta put the Royal Guard in. You would have won that, Shad. Now more stuff is just dying. And again, Bane's gonna get focused out. Yep. Bane. No, uh, you can't focus Vader out of next turn. So, yeah, there will be Bane. It's always Bane. I mean, oh. I get not wanting to put. Hello. Hunters with the lackey is force sensitive. <laughs> yeah. That lack. Lanik had a parasite. <laughs> a little chest burster there. Touch some Vader. Lock out Vader. To some extent, it makes sense to try to lock out Vader because uh, Yoda's not committed to the Force, so Bane's not getting Yoda off the table, whereas yeah, Vader could. Vader could. <laughs> I think Shad's regretting his uh, blocking choices. I have to uncommit somebody and uncommit Yoda. Abandon hideout. <laughs> Shad's, Shad's wanting to abandon. abandon hideout. Yeah. Well, it is yeah. an option. If you can commit yeah. Yoda, the Bane will. Oh, abandon hideout just grinds things to a halt. Right, yeah, yeah. With Vader locked out, abandon hideout, move it over to Yoda. And then get him off the board with Bane. But Jonathan's... There's not a lot of multi-striking options for Bane, are there? Mm. I mean, you probably have to do, like, Duel and maybe Rage. I feel like using Rage on Bane is bad. Because you have to commit him. Maybe a Black Market Exchange? <laughs> He'd love that deck. It's... it's... <laughs> <laughs> Down to seven. For... What's the dial at? Seven for Shad. Seven. I, kept, I uh, kept lost force. track of the dial after our issues. Our technical issues. What's coming? More Tukatas. Coming up the board with all the creatures. Hmm. Yeah, maybe Bane holds back to block. Like, Falcon's probably coming out. Bane can block the Falcon. Here comes a bunch of tactics. No Emperor, though. No, still just the weenies. Oh, he got the Dark Layer, too. Missed that one. Probably drew a card when he hit that Tukata. Yeah, uh, Jonathan basically just needs to sit back and play events each turn, right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, he's got he's got a couple of black bombs on. 
on units and then yeah you can just slowly grind out a win here there's no Yularen no yeah get a Steve <laughs> yep that's a lot of stuff to block with So, yeah, oh, he's got money open for worms too. Does he have worms in his discard? No, he played his worm. So Jonathan does have his Cloud City locked out. He could have had it open if he'd used his affiliation. But he's still got enough for the Falcon, so hopefully. Yeah, he's still got he's still got five. But he could have been at seven. Could have been at seven. Falcon and a bamboozle. Mighty threatening. Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh, you can't pay for itself. There we go. Yeah. That's what I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> and Falcon. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, Winner. Oof. So many bombs on the light side board. Yeah. But Shad's got the tactics now, so. How many cards has Shad got? Three? Four? Uh, maybe? I saw at least three. Does he have any worms in his discard? I don't think, I don't think he does. I, I don't think, think he, he does. No. Now that he, like, played his worm instead of having it for edge each turn. It's still tough, though, because Jonathan has Falcon and Yoda. And Shad can only deal with one of those units before the other one strikes. But he can threaten to kill the Falcon, which would mean that Yoda would die if he bounces Falcon. So I think if Jonathan attacks with, like, Falcon and Yoda, then you and loses edge then you almost don't bounce the falcon yeah just to keep Yoda in play yeah like force them well you, you force Chad to make the choice of dealing with Yoda and then your falcon can strike and then you can bounce it but he might want to be keeping those units on the board so he might not risk attacking with both of them simultaneously although that would probably put the most pressure on Chad yeah And if Jonathan has a sneaky memories of home, zero cost that Shad wouldn't be expecting. To put shield where it matters. True. Paying a damage. Yeah. Sneaky Jedi tricks. I think we're going to see a lot of stuff blocking. <laughs> <laughs> Everything with tactics. Everything with edge. Yeah. Maybe maybe the worm doesn't block. <laughs> no, no, it's the front line? No, it's got to be everything. No, it looks like the front line. Maybe not. Ooh. Yeah, Bane's not in. The Steve's aren't in, I don't think. Yeah, you gotta put a Steve in, right? <laughs> I don't think he did. I don't think there's a Steve in there. Uh, why aren't all of those units blocking? <laughs> yeah, those those front four. Okay. Oh, losing that edge battle is rough though. So Shad's not gonna get any of his tactics. Things are going to open up for Jonathan. <laughs> Chad's still lamenting not having worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one. There, oh, was, one. there was, was one down there. Or no, he did a worm? Or what? I know, it was in there. Going? I just saw a worm. <laughs> yeah, he paid, got it back. Worms are just exploding out of the cottage chest. Chad's having too much fun in this game. 
One was bursting out everywhere. So Jonathan won the edge, drew a card. You gotta and... strike with your first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven guns will deal with the worm. Just about. I actually almost think you don't want to kill the worm. Because that's going to give Shad his renewable edge. There you go. Tactics. Get a worm. Tactics on the Takata. The lackey's still got black tactics. Yeah, that, that lackey's going to focus something. Probably the falcon. I don't know. If the falcon attacks, I think you just shoot it with Bane. Hmm. Oh, yeah, but it, yeah, you, you, you do that. That makes sense. Makes all kinds of sense. Oh, I see. That was a force sensitive and it burst into a. Wait, he doesn't even. He's not. What? <laughs> Make he's, not confused. Edging, he's not edge looping his worms. He's just <laughs> bringing him back to have him jump out of Tukatos. Okay. All the defenders still available. I mean, I like having the worms on the board because they give you the blast, that additional blast that you need to actually close out the game. Yeah. Like, Shad's kind of getting in reach of... Uh, and then to close, yeah. If, if Shad can hold the force, it's closing out because he's got what Vader and Bane and a worm. Yeah, so Dal will be on nine. He'll need both objectives. No, oh, window of opportunity is uh, closing in on Jonathan. Jonathan. I feel like Dal is going to play an event and pop a fearsome and foul. Dal does go up to nine. Oh, he was not able... No, he could not take the force back. That's why you don't block with both of the Steves. Shad's board is back. Pretty much as one Lannick that's tapped out, but... Oh, there's the hideout. That's good. Yeah, Bane will be able to shoot whoever he wants now. Bane's getting some support, too. Makes him tougher to die, although nine gun Yoda's not <laughs> Yeah, nine guns. So, nine gun Yoda still did the job. Yeah, Shad's got Shad's got a couple different ways to kill Yoda here. And does he have enough bombs to close it out? One, two. I don't think so. I think I think he needs at least one more bomb, and then he'd have to get unopposed in different ways. Yeah. Although, if he can kill Yoda and have a worm burst out of Yoda's chest, then he'll have the bombs. <laughs> right, because Vader and Bane and Worm makes four. Plus on a pose to get that to fuck it. Yep. It's then... risky, though, because you don't know what's going to jump out of the Falcon. No, that's true. The Falcon can always drop something in. Like, if the Falcon drops in a Cloud City operative and then Yoda suddenly defends, oh. Sounds like time has been called. Oh, time has been called I on the I believe so. Jonathan was just checking uh, that he'd play through to the end of his turn. So That's rough, because now Shad... I think we said that Shad doesn't have the bombs, unless he like explodes a worm out somehow. So Shad cannot win, and Jonathan can potentially win. So Shad probably just plays defense unless he's looking to like block some stuff out. Yeah, attack with Vader, threaten to kill the Falcon. Force Jonathan to keep you playing the Falcon turn after turn. Yeah, and if the Falcon bounces, then kill Yoda. Yep. Yep. I don't know. 
attacking does give Jonathan the opportunity to ditch his hand and dig for what he needs to close the game out, though. True. Wait, Shed, did Shed bid a worm? He did. So he had the worm. <laughs> so he could have maybe... I feel like if he had... Uh, Depend, uh, it all depends on the falcon bounce, potentially. Yeah. But I think if you attack with enough stuff to like focus the board and threaten the falcon, then you can also gun down all defenders and then that, that worm... Like, Vader kills Yoda, a worm bursts out, and the, the worm takes made the Force. Yeah. You just move a commitment card to whatever jumps out the Falcon, and Bane kills it. Yeah. Because all the stuff is, like, you know, it's hindsight. It's, it's easy to see after the fact, easier, yeah. Especially after, you know, because we're in round three, so this is getting close to the dinner break. They've been playing for a while. Move that over there, bam. Just gonna oh, did Vader, Vader... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Abandoned hideout doing work. Obliterate his board. <laughs> oh, there comes the Torrent attack. Ah. Oh, God. That should have been your worm, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Free unit. So if game had... If, if time had not been called, I feel like this is... Pretty solidly in Shad's favor, because those um, Falcons gone, those Wolfmen aren't coming back. Yeah, and I think it, Jonathan's pretty hard pressed to attack into the the Steve's uh, Torrenta tech and that Tukata. Yeah, edge two, you, you kind of need a Falcon plus something else and a, a free event for extra damage from the Skyhopper. Right, yeah, the event can pop the bottom, and then you need your three bombs to connect on the top. Show us the money, Jonathan. Snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Or draw, in this case. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have the yeah. same ring to it, but... He can do it. It can it's be done, yeah. Does he have... Uh, I don't think he's playing with target of opportunity. Uh, is that a bamboozle? Ooh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Bamboozling off of your wolfman still makes it tough attacking into a torrent attack. <laughs> Speedy bike. Not helping with the bombs. Yeah, bamboozle is definitely the event he needs, though. I don't know, he needs one more bomb somewhere. Well, the speeder bike can get one from. Sorry, yeah, the speeder bike and. Oh, true. How does that work? Are you running the canyon? Uh, once it's focused to strike, discard an event from your hand to give it okay. a white bomb. But then you like you're playing your bamboozle for an event, and you're discarding an event, so you're trying to win edge with down two cards. Yeah. It's rough. Bamboozle. Can't bamboozle onto creatures. What do you bamboozle onto? Steve. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get rid of that edge. Yeah. Jonathan going for the win. Takes the objective out. Come on, son. No Palpatine. No, not seen a Palpatine from Shad yet this tournament. The only one we have seen got well, twisted away. They, they're, they're great edge cards. Okay. Everyone so at top. Things, yeah. Block. <laughs> Block. Get a worm back. Get a worm back. Get a worm. <laughs> More sensitive dies. Play a worm. <laughs> So I mostly enjoy playing Kirsten and Fowl just to uh, say I have worms. I have worms. I noticed your deck list at Worlds just said worms. 
It did, yeah. <laughs> Worms, exclamation point. <laughs> Like Matt Brown, who wrote out every single card in his deck. Did he really? All 50 in his command deck. <laughs> yeah. Shot. Wedge Steve. <laughs> NBA dead speeder bike. Dead speeder. Yeah, because, I mean, we, we kind of knew that Jonathan was... I, I'm a little bit surprised that he kept two cards. Like, I feel in this situation, you, you have to go really deep in your edge battle... Like, we know, we know one of the cards, or we're hypothesizing one of the cards is an event he can discard for yeah. the, what the box he needs. But I think even then, what would he do? He'd focus the Torrent attack. He'd focus Steve. Yeah, so those other guys would be able to strike. But I think in this situation, like, there's there's really no point. Oh, it's a Dagobah training ground. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to bid that. This is all but over then with a draw. Like holding that big of a training background back, like makes Shad Ad kind of question if he should go all in in yeah. case it's a twist. Twist from the Falcons. Part. Although, yeah. is Jonathan out of twists yet? I should be writing this stuff down. I think we've only we seen through. one. I think. Yeah, he might be. It's over. The game's done. You drew. <laughs> Just playing it through, I think. Yeah, had this game uh, gone through to the end, uh, Chad obviously wins on the counterattack. Beating mm. <laughs> frenzy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> hey, this worm's got to eat. Hey, I uh, I think that was the Tukata. Oh. His dog... <laughs> <laughs> His dog beat Jonathan's wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy Shay I got to play that card. I don't think I actually had an opportunity to play Feeding Frenzy in Worlds. Like the potential, of course you want to have Feeding Frenzy Ice Trample, but mm. like that, that combo just doesn't line up unless you jam your deck full of three, uh, three Feeding Frenzies. <laughs> I, think I do these meaningless gestures. Oh, another bamboozle. Yep, trigger Skyhopper again. No, nope, that's limit one. I think. And Chad's Torrenta text says, Get wrecked! Nom. Three guns. <laughs> 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 And my worms will feast on your face. <laughs> you gonna do it with the worm? Yeah, he's gonna do it with the worm. Yeah, do it with the worm. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Board white. Okay. Uh, and there's game. So, yeah. Inevitable there, I think, as soon as the edge battle lost, but just playing it through to conclusion. Uh, long game. Yeah. I, I feel like Chad did have an opportunity, though, if he had played his uh, worm off of getting the blast off a of worm with Hunters of the Jedi. Well, yeah, again, he maybe He could have potentially won when Shad time had been called. Hmm. Well, again, uh, it's uh, knowing what the Falcon could be dropping off. It's, uh, it's tricky. tricky. It is tricky, but I think if you swing with all of your edge guys... You just win. Like, you, should be, you should be good. Yeah. And as we said, anything that drops out of the Falcon, Bane can potentially... Abandon hideout and nuke it. So exactly, and I mean he's getting the 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 damage with Vader too. So yeah, I think that's uh, it for round two then. So we will uh, hopefully see more of these players as we move through the Swiss rounds. And um, yeah, join us again as we finish off the Swiss coverage of Worlds 2017. Uh, thanks again to Mick for joining for coverage, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. <laughs>